Just like adding decimals, subtracting decimals is the same process you've always used when subtracting whole numbers, uh, just remembering to line everything up nicely according to decimal place. If we're asked to do this subtraction, our very first step is to make sure we line up the commas so we get everything in its correct place value column and we straight away put the comma into the answer. Okay, we start by saying, we start from the right, 3 subtract 6, we can't do that, we're not wanting to go into negatives, right? So 3 subtract 6, we can't do that, so we borrow 1 from over here and this becomes 13. 13 minus 6 gives us 7. We then need to go and say 6 subtract 8. Again, we can't do that. So we need to go over here to borrow, but there's nothing here to that we can borrow. So then we even have to go further over here to borrow from here. So we take 1 from here, and that becomes 10 tenths. And then we can take one of those tenths, leaving us with 9 tenths, to bring it over here. And we'll get 16 minus 8, which is 8. 9 minus 5 is 4. And then here we've got 1 minus 8. Again, we can't do that. So we go and borrow one of the tens and we make 11 ones. 11 minus 8 gives us 3. 2 minus nothing gives us 2. And we're done.